Good morning. Yesterday, Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez announced that he would remain in office following several days of intense speculation over his future. The decision may have averted a political crisis, but it risks deepening the country's schism between left and right. The socialist leader made the announcement from outside his Moncloa official residence, promising to work tirelessly with firmness and calm for the pending regeneration of our democracy and for the advance and consolidation of rights and freedoms. He thus avoided becoming the first Prime Minister to resign during a legislature since Adolfo Suarez back in 1981. This confirmation that he would continue came just five days after Mr Sanchez surprised many by announcing he was cancelling official engagements in order to consider his future. The abrupt move was triggered by the revelation that a court in Madrid had opened an inquiry into his wife, Begonia Gomez, due to allegations of influence peddling brought against her by a campaigning group Manos Limpias with links to the far right. The preliminary investigation is examining whether Ms Gomez influenced the awarding of government money to private companies. The right-wing opposition sees Mr Sanchez's handling of the case against his wife as both provocative and liable to undermine the judiciary. Around 50 migrants were missing after their boat overturned some 100 kilometres southwest of El Hierro yesterday. The Marine Rescue Service said one of its helicopters rescued nine people who were found clinging to the boat following a warning call from a merchant vessel in the area. Once transferred to El Hierro Airport, the rescued migrants reported that 60 had set sail some nine days earlier and that the open-topped wooden boat ran into problems on Saturday. The migrants were of sub-Saharan origin, but there was no details on which country they had sailed from. The Interior Ministry says 16,621 migrants arrived in Spain by boat between January the 1st and April the 15th. That's up by 11,681 in the same period last year. The vast majority arrived on the Canary Islands route. Luis Rubiales denied any wrongdoing yesterday when he was questioned by an investigating judge as part of her probe into alleged corruption related to staging the Spanish Super Cup in Saudi Arabia. After hearing his testimony, the judge ordered Rubiales to appear once a month in person at the courthouse and to ask the court for permission if he wants to leave the country. Rubiales stepped down as president of the RFEF in September. He's also facing a separate trial after being accused of sexual assault, but has also denied any wrongdoing in that case. The sports authority said last week that it was stepping in to supervise the federation to protect the reputation of Spanish football. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.